Florida's controversial stand your ground law again front and center now with lawmakers. Good evening. I'm Greg Angel. Thank you for watching WTXL ABC 27 News at 530. It's a law that's been under fire since the February 2012 shooting death of Florida teen Trayvon Martin. The teen's mom now among those pushing for the law to be repealed. WTXL ABC 27's Brittany Jones live for us in the newsroom with more on our top story at 530. Brittany. Greg, the issue on the table at the Capitol today, Trayvon Martin's mother and state leaders joining to fight for justice for those who have lost their loved ones while the defense justifies the act of violence with the stand your ground law. How many children have to be killed? How many times are we going to bury our loved ones and not do anything about it? Those are the questions Sabrina Fulton is still asking after her son, 17-year-old Trayvon Martin, was shot and killed nearly a year ago. The accused gunman, George Zimmerman, says he fatally shot Martin in self-defense, pleading not guilty under the Stand Your Ground law. The 2005 law permits anyone who feels their safety or life is in danger to use deadly force without first exercising a duty to retreat. We spoke with Fulton on Tuesday. She tells us her son's death pushes her to fight for justice. I miss him, but I understand that somebody has to speak for him since he's not here. Lawmakers like Representative Alan Williams says the law is flawed. I think they are the two in, too vague. Um, they allow too much room for individuals to interpret them differently. Now Williams wants to no duty to retreat and use of deadly force language removed from the current law. Although it may work 75 percent of the time, that 25 percent of the time, those cases, we have to fix the law for those individuals because guess what, at the end of the day, one life loss yes. is too many. Yes. And again, the Martin family tells us that there will be a number of events held to remember him on his birthday coming up next month. We'll continue to follow the story and bring you the latest. I'm live in the newsroom, Brittany Jones, WTXL, ABC 27, dedicated to you.